change this to the car growth rate. So we've done the first one, so now let's select that imp again, press F5, enter, and let's go select the truck growth rate. Okay, so let's copy those across. So you can copy and paste, it's pretty easy like, like that. Or what you can do is you can go shift arrow down, control shift across and control R. Now we buy this asset on the 31st of December 2011. So the first full year is going to be there 31st of December 2012 back to the 31st of December 2011. So H3 minus G3 will give us the number of days in that year, and that's that's pretty funny. The uh, 2012 year contains a leap year, and now we've got a number of indicators. So we're going to put in this one, we're going to put in inf, and then index, and we're going to put in car, index, truck, index and days in year. I'm going to color those red and we're going to do exactly the same thing. So we're going to name those rows. So let's go control, go to the inf index, shift spacebar, control F3, alt N, enter. Go to the car index, do the same. So shift spacebar, control F3, alt N, enter. Go to the truck index, control F3, alt N, enter. Shift spacebar, control F3, alt N, enter. So we've named all those now. Okay, so now we're going to get onto the operations or calculations related to this project. So let's go. Okay, and the first thing we're going to do is operations, we're going to go car revenue. I'm going to color this in a bit, make it a bit prettier and I'm going to start labeling some other things as well. So I'm going to put this one as truck revenue. I think the next one is so there are the revenues, annual, so we can, I'm just going to cheat, uh, put a few rows in there, put a few rows in there, I'm going to format paint these, so let's go home, alt, no let's not do that. Uh, let's okay, so don't worry about that. Just make sure you've got the labels there and we'll go through each in turn. So now we're going to put in the number of cars per day. So let's just build this up logically. How many cars are coming through per day? How much does it cost? per car, so toll per car in dollars, and then we get our, if we multiply those two together, we get our daily revenue from cars. Now we're looking at a yearly model, so before we do that, let's just freeze some panes. So let's go Alt W, so go up to F5 and go Alt Alt W and then F freeze panes and F freeze panes. This just makes sure that our first few lines are always in view so we can always see our dates. Sorry about that. Okay, so let's get back to these calculations. So let's go find the number of cars per day. Now remember we've got this car growth index, let's put it 
car growth index and truck growth index instead of just index. So if we grab the number of cars from the assumptions assumptions page, which is 80,000, multiply that by the car index. That'll give us the number of cars per day. And now we only want to start this one from December 2012 because that's our first full year of operations. So let's copy that across. So control R to copy that across. So the next one we're looking at is our toll per car. In this tutorial, we assume that our toll per car is increasing with inflation. So we're going to do a similar thing to what we just did with the number of cars per day. We're going to grab the car toll and we're going to multiply it by the inflation index. Okay, let's copy that one across. Just going to do one less decimal here. Oops, one less. And then we're going to multiply the two together. So that multiplied by that. And now we're going to put in some units here. So we know this is number, this is dollars. And now we're going to put in thousands of dollars here. So let's put in thousands of dollars. And if we obviously do that, we're going to have to divide this number by a thousand. Okay, so that's our daily revenue from cars. Now we know that this is a yearly model, so we need to convert it into a yearly figure. So we've got our days in year, and that's going to be a number. And if we multiply the daily revenue from cars times the days in that particular year, then we're going to get the annual car revenue. So let's go annual car revenue. And uh, let's just copy that one down. Let's go and grab, so let's go equals, and this is just the indicator we had before, or the counter we had before, and control R to copy that across. Or obviously you can, if you're not at that stage, you can drag that one across. Okay, so let's now multiply the two together to get our annual revenue. Okay, now I'm going to cheat on the truck revenue because it's very similar to the car revenue. So what I'm going to do, and you can do this as well, let's just copy these rows. So copy, so select the rows, hold down your mouse left click and control C to copy. I'm going to paste them here. So control V to paste. I'm going to change these titles obviously to truck, truck, truck. Now if you do this, you've got to be very careful that you get all the cars out. So let's, because they're exactly the same formula bar the trucks, let's just change everything here, trucks, trucks, or truck index and now we're still going to inflate the toll per truck by the inflation index so that's a generic assumption and those should all be the same so let's see if that works out yeah that looks right okay so now we're going to go down to our annual maintenance and or well, let's call this operating expenses instead and let's delete this one okay and let's go maintenance costs and then management costs so remember on our assumptions page we had three expenses we had one to do with annual maintenance one to do with annual management and one to do with annual capex. So let's do this. So let's go total operating costs. 
and let's go and let's go equals. Now this is the annual maintenance cost. So let's go that and let's multiply it by the inflation index. So here we're assuming that the annual expense is going to go up with the inflation index. And let's put a negative at the front as well. So just chuck a negative in there. I'm going to copy that one all the way across. So shift, hold your shift key down and arrow across and then control R. Now we're going to do a similar thing with the management costs. So I'm just going to copy this down. I'm going to do exactly the same thing as we've done before. I'm going to highlight that annual maintenance. I'm going to go and change it to the annual management using my arrow keys. Okay, and shift or control shift arrow across and shift arrow left and control R. Okay, so the sum of those two is going to give us our operating costs. I'm just going to copy these down. You don't have to. And then now we're going to go on to our annual capex or our cap, let's call it capital expenses instead. Okay, so now we have our capital expenses. Pretty easy to calculate. All we're going to do, it's going to be thousands of dollars again. We're going to go equals, so similar formula to that. So capex multiplied by our inflation index up here. So just going to grab that. You can obviously type this one in, inf index if you'd like. And then I'm going to make that a negative number again. And I'm going to copy that one across. So control R to copy across. Okay. Now what we're going to do now is we're going to do a simple tax calculation. So this would be under operations, so we might as well put in operations here. So uh, tax. Now this is going to be a pretty simple uh, calculation. All we're going to do is we're going to put in annual revenue or let's go just revenue, total revenue. Uh, total operating costs, capital expenses, interest, expense, and then we've got our assessable income. So you can see what's happening here is all we're doing is basically building up a little income statement. Now, very basic income statement, but we're still building up an income statement. Now, we're going to highlight these for the moment. We're going to come back to it. So we're going to highlight them and come back to it a bit later. Now we're going to concentrate on the, we know we've got to fill these in, by the way, but we're going to concentrate on the financing for now because the financing, some of the financing comes into this assessable income. So let's go and let's, I'm just going to copy this one down. I'm going to paste that one. I'm going to put in financing, yeah? And what I'm going to do is we know that we've got a debt account and the remainder of our acquisition cost is going to come from equity. We know that we've got a hurdle equity rate of 13%. So what we're going to do is we're going to put in a debt facility. So let's put in opening balance, principal repayment. I'm going to highlight this principal repayment because we're going to come back to it. And I'm going to put in a closing balance. 